Um, have they, how many people have heard of JavaScript MVC? So many, but more, but some, okay, good. Um, JavaScript MVC is a model view controller framework that works on top of jQuery. Um, the part that I'm gonna show you today is just the controller part. The model and the view are awesome, but if you're really just looking for a way to start organizing your, your jQuery code a little bit more, um, the controller alone is pretty cool. Um, and what it does is gives you a way to structure your code, but it also handles uh, event delegation for you. So if you aren't familiar with event delegation, that means that instead of attaching a click handler to every single li on the page or something like that, you attach the click handler to some higher level element, and then when that higher level element gets clicked, it looks to see if you clicked on one of, on a thing that matched the selector that you asked for. So you can say, you can use a container, like a unordered list, watch for clicks on that, and then see if the actual element that was clicked happens to be the one that you cared about, and then if it was, do something. Um, so this is a really trivial, whoa. Um, this is a really trivial and not very useful example that I put together. But we've got our unordered list, it's inside a div from the idea of foo, really it's unordered list to have the idea of foo, sorry. Um, I, JavaScript MVC has a way that you can roll up all the files required to be able to use their controller as a standalone thing. I don't remember what it is, and I'm sorry, but if you ask them, they'll tell you. Uh, they have a really great name on this. And so basically what we're doing here is we're defining a class. Um, and this is kind of new to some jQuery people, this concept of organizing code with classes. Um, a lot of jQuery people really like to write long, terrible chains, um, or just long, terrible stuff. Um, making the same selection out. I'm not even going to talk about that. Anyway, so this is a this is a way to sort of organize your code into little pieces of functionality that that a component has. So we've just said that this is a, a, a component called my controller, and it does absolutely nothing. But what we're going to do down here, um, and again, this is a concept that's pretty that can be really unfamiliar and kind of weird to. Uh, here um, is actually creating an instance of this controller and say that we want, let me move that, as I can see David can't see, that didn't help too much. Um, so we're going to create a new instance of this controller, we're going to say this is the element to attach this controller to, so we want to attach it to that idea of an idea of foo. Um, and, and so now all the events are going to be delegated through the foo element, and all the selectors that we define up here um, are going to be relative, are going to be things that are found inside of that foo element. So, when we call that new my controller, it automatically runs this init method. Uh, it, that anytime you call a new on one of these JavaScript MVC classes, whether it's controller or model, it run, or, well, I shouldn't say that. I know at least on controller, it runs this init method. So you can set stuff there and all sorts of things. Um, you can also, I haven't done it here, but you can have instance properties and static properties. So if you want to have properties that are shared by the entire, by all um, instances of the class, and when one instance modifies the property, that modification is propagated to all instances, then you can also, um, just by defining another object, by providing a second argument, you can define static properties for your class. I'm not going to do that now. So it automatically runs this init um, method. And then down here, they've created this really kind of pleasant way to, to do your event binding. So here you can see we've got li click. Oh, come on, be bigger. Um, it's not working. It's saying no errors found, which is not helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Anyway, so here, this is, we're doing the event delegation. If whenever you click on a list item in this foo element, then this function will run. This method will run. It's going to add the class of current or move the class of current from the sibling, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it's also going to do this other thing that's really neat in controller. And it's, it's going to publish a message. And this is done using Open Ajax Hub, which is an open um, way to implement pub sub, publish and subscribe. Uh, so this is, this is a pub sub implementation. And what this lets you do, you, so you get to send this message, and then anyone anywhere else in your application can be listening for this message and react to it. So we're going to publish list item click, and we're going to send some data with that um, message that we published. We're going to send the text of the list item that was clicked. 
And then up here, because I didn't want to write another controller, I just wrote a listener in the exact same controller. I was saying that I want to subscribe to that listening click message whenever it happens. Um, it, what's really cool about this is it lets you completely separate stuff that really ought to be separated. Because you could have in your click handler sending some data to the server, maybe you're getting some data to the server from the server or whatever. Um, but instead of ending up with another big block of code, um, you can just sort of shunt that off to something else. It might even be in a different controller that responds to this list item click. Um, so we send this message, list item click, and we send it the text. We can just send an element, we can send it anything. And list item click, subscribe. When, that, when it hears that message, runs the method that was attached. Um, I also just found out they have um, the ability to delegate hover events, so you don't have to do mouse enter and mouse leave, you can actually delegate hover, so this just toggles the class of hover. And then we added another one so that when it looks like it gets a class of current, then if you click on it, it'll append a span to it. Um, and this is just sort of a demonstration of event delegation. We didn't have to attach this event after the element got the class of current. It's just whenever there's an element of class with a class of current that gets clicked, then this will run. And you don't have to keep up with what's current and what's not. It just watches. Um, so again, you just instantiate it. We can also, you know, randomly publish other stuff to this channel, and, and this controller is listening for it. Don't know why you do that, but you might. Um, I'm actually going to delete that part, so nothing weird happens. Um, <laughs> like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having a really hard time doing it. It's odd. Console. Okay, so you can see our hovers happening um, as they should. When we click on something, it gives a class of current, which turns it blue. That, that subscription method actually runs, so we get the alert that says the text. Still, because that it is a list item and it was clicked, that runs and also gets that additional thing that was going to happen with the list item current. Anyway, if you're interested in like getting away from chain land with your jQuery um, and you don't, you aren't sold on Dojo after I talked to you about it this afternoon, then JavaScript MVC is.